Hey crafters, it's Kathy from Scrap and Bean coming to you for this Try It Tuesday for a quick little demo on rub-ons. Back in the day, these in the scrapbooking world used to be very popular. Some brands had some that worked, but a lot of brands came out with ones that just they would break, they would fall apart, they wouldn't stick to your stuff and eventually they just died off and nobody wanted to use them anymore. Well 49th and Market has brought these back in a whole new format. Their designs are really cool. They look like mixed media, like this looks like it's got some splashes on there. They've got words, they've got a little text in the background. Their packages come with, I've already used up the one full sheet here, but there's another sheet and another, so you get like three that have a variety of words and images on them. And theirs work great. I absolutely love them. So I have started putting them already over this uh, mini album that I'm making, which is also papers from Mar uh, 49th and Market. Here's where I've put a rub on. And if I tilt this, maybe you can see it's actually over layers. Uh, not really, but the background is one layer. This is another layer up. Well, it's glued down. And this is another layer. But this rub-on of the leaves is going through one, two, three layers, and it goes right over the edge. And it's not, like it hasn't broken. It all just sticks down there really nice. Um, this too is a rub-on where I put some on the top layer, some on the bottom. So I've been using that throughout my album, but there's a page here where I wanted to add some more rub-ons. I've put some, again, going over the layers, so I like that. But I have on this inside page here where it's quite plain, and I want to start with adding just a little bit of design. I want to leave some space here to do some journaling to go with my photos but I will add on some, um, some rub-ons to add some color to that. So I like to kind of preserve my package because I'm not going to use the whole thing at once. So I'm going to start, I'll move this out of my way, and start with just opening up the package. I just want to cut the top layer of the plastic. It's like in a plastic pocket in the package. So I cut that top layer and then I can take my rub-on out and I've still left it like a pocket so I can slide it back in there and keep them all together. So the one I want to use on there is this butterfly with this little cluster of um, like a mixed media is what it looks like. So you can take your whole page off and just rub this portion on, but I am just going to cut out that piece and then the rest of this I can put back into my package and save for the next time. So I can just slide it back in where I made that little slit and now they're all together still. And now this one here I can add onto my project. So I just want to add it up in the top area here. Now these come um, in the package. They come with a tool to rub them on. Now I have already misplaced mine, but you can also use a popsicle stick or you can use your bone folder or someplace. I have one of those really nice Tim Holtz tools specifically for putting on your rub-ons, which work great because they're a nice heavy metal one but any of these are gonna work for. So I just take off that backing, that I'm gonna discard. And because this is clear, I can see where I want to put it, right? You can line it up, you can tell where it's lined up. Actually, maybe over here would look good, but I need something on here. Okay, so I'll put it, I'll put it here, and it's got some of this text in the background, some in the orange, some in the blue, and you just give that a nice rub pressing everywhere. Make sure that holds sign. And I see some of it goes off the edge here and I'm, I'm going to use that too. Just put it right into the crease there. And then when I do lift it up, 
if I lift up the clear and I see any of the image sticking to the clear, I can put it down and rub it again. Make sure his little antennas are down there. Now the surface I'm working on isn't flat. I've got this whole book underneath there. That might... Of course it's going to be better if I have a flat surface so that I can actually put pressure on it. And I'll just take a peek, make sure that it's all coming off there. There we go, and now my sh sheet is clear. So you can see I got it all off of there, and here's my design. And it just kind of melds right in with the paper. Looks like it was a mixed media design on the paper instead. So yeah, I really liking that. Um, what else do I have that I could put on this same page? Maybe I could put these, this kind of a blue and rusty design. I think that would match too. So I can pull that out of my little pocket there. And actually even this word is a nice one too. Maybe we'll use that. We'll use that one and then the rest of this I can just put right back into my little packaging pouch there. And I think the word is one I would save to actually put on top of my photo. In the corner of a photo that would look nice. One that it suits with so I'll save it for that. And for now I'll put this one into my book. So I just take this clear piece off, throw away this white backing, and now I can see right where I want to place it. And if I did this methodically so that I could um, keep track of where I've pressed, I'll probably have better chance of it all moving onto the paper the first go. If that even makes sense. What I'm saying isn't, isn't sounding logical to me. It's not coming out. The words aren't coming out the way I, I meant them to. And even some of these where it goes over the edge, I'm going to try and get a little bit of that out on the white matting there, just because it's a neat look. Okay, so I think I've pressed the whole thing down. So I'll just pick up a corner of this. There's a little piece here I didn't quite get. So it's kind of forgiving that way, which is awesome. So just doing it slowly so that if I had to lay it down, it's still going to line up. And I've got it all in there, and there's a little piece right over the corner, so I'm just going to press it over the edge. And there we go. So that has added in some nice, like a mixed media look. It looks like I splashed some paint on there, and really it's just a rub-on. So I hope you give those a try. We are carrying the 49th in market. All of their new lines are just gorgeous. The paper, the paper pads, the die cuts, the stitched frames all of it. I'm just loving, but do give a try to their rub-ons. They have so many different colors and different designs, and generally their packages come with kind of two different colors per package. So this has got that nice Wedgwood blue and the orange rusty color in it for all the rub-ons in this package, but the other packages have their own colors in them as well. I hope you give those a try. Very easy to use.